Hi everyone, this is Professor Tessa Minot. Um, I wanted to welcome you to IND 1130, which is History of Interiors 2. Um, I hope that you're all off to a great start for this part of the semester with the B session. Some of you I have already got um, in my History 1 course, so welcome back. Um, I look forward to having you again for the rest of the semester. And then for those of you that are brand new, I would like to welcome you and um, hope that you're really going to enjoy this class and get a lot out of it. And if you're a new online student, just take your time and um, work your way in and read and make sure you look at all of our Blackboard site to get really familiar with it, and I think you'll be off to a great start. Um, this semester you'll be using the same textbook from History 1 if you've already taken that, which is History of Interiors by Judy Ireland. It's a nice big book. Um, it's purple. Um, and so if make sure that's the book you have. Uh, so you, if you've already got it, you don't have to read by it. And if you're taking History 2 and have not yet taken History 1, don't get rid of it because you'll use it again. Um, this class it's a lot because you have a lot of reading but I think it's very enjoyable and one thing I want to talk to you about real quick is time management this is an online class and you need to treat it like you have time f you need to schedule time for what we would call lecture and then you need to schedule time for homework and quizzes so a lot of people think they can finish this class in two to three hours a week and if you're really great maybe but most people need to set aside two to three hours to actually read the material maybe fill out any vocabulary um, words look up any links to help you um, retain the material as you're reading it that I've got to interdispersed throughout your folders the weekly folders then you need to set aside time to actually work on your homework and your quizzes for the week and your discussion boards. So I really encourage you to set up a weekly calendar or a monthly calendar even and you need to actually schedule in time and say this is blocked off for lecture and learning and then this is blocked off for homework and make sure you don't schedule anybody else for family, friends that they know that you are you consider it a work and if you have a job this is it can be tedious I know because you're trying to balance everything and if you have kids but it's really important that if you have time management and overall you'll be happier and your family and everything else will be happier and your grades won't suffer so I really encourage you to set up a good schedule for yourself and I want to remind you all that I do have office hours here on campus if you go to the blackboard under professor information they'll be listed right there you can always e reach me by email. I try to be very quick about responding, except maybe on the weekends. Um, I do have my family as well, so I do try to respond, but if you email me Friday night, it might not come back till Saturday or Sunday, so just be aware of that. Um, and But during the week, I'm pretty quick about getting right back to you. You're always welcome to email me or call me at my office number, 381-3509. But I try to be there for y'all as much as possible and give you the best experience. So I look forward to working with you all this semester, and I really hope you enjoy this class. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.